The Green Bay Packers are off to Washington, hoping to snap a two-game losing streak. The Commanders, hoping they can ride their defense to back-to-back -back Ws. Pocket breaks down, and down he goes. On the fake, pressure coming. Rodgers, hit, ball is loose, sitting on the ground. That combo right there, the formula that allows the Commanders to keep things close with Green Bay. And as Lloyd would say, keep it close is saying there's a chance. Shuttle, did he catch it? No, he did not catch, but short of the goal line. Can't be any closer than that. Washington's secondary hasn't played great in 2022. Body of work, a little like what I see in the mirror. But they looked good enough last week against Justin Fields, and it was tied to that pass rush. Third and 19, look out. And down he goes back at the 30-yard line. Aaron Rodgers is going to be staring at five dudes with three-plus sacks this year. Commanders with an elite pressure rate and QB takedown total. Fields, chase, spins, cannot get away. Rodgers, he got sacked four times last week, hit nine. Pressure, Rodgers sacked again. Oh, the Jets are getting heavy pressure. In turn, he struggled. Just six yards an attempt, rating under 90. Rodgers pressured, rolls away, has time, throws, Dobbs incomplete. Number 12 found success finding his tight end. Robert Tunyon comes in off his biggest game of the year. 12 targets, 10 catches, 90 yards. Looking around, throws, caught for the first down. Robert Tunyon. But Rogers has to have better luck with Green Bay's wide receivers this week. Alan Lazard and Romeo Dobbs against the Jets. 18 targets, only eight catches. Blowing it up. Going deep for Dobbs, and it's short, incomplete. Lazard at least pulled in that nice touchdown. Rogers going end zone. Lazard, he's got it for the touchdown. Rogers may want to load up on whoever Washington's Kendall Fuller is guarding or trying to guard. Three TDs allowed, rating against near 140. Fields, deep down field, and it is going to be caught for a touchdown. Benjamin St. Juiced, on the other hand, the anti-Waldo. 72.1 rating against, holding QBs to a 41.9 completion percentage. St. Juice covering on the play. So if he, if he holds on to it there, he's across the goal line. He's in, but he doesn't. Packers run game, A.J. Dillon and Aaron Jones, not much of an impact last week. The duo has potential to make one, though, especially against a Washington defense that's allowed 4.5 yards per carry on the year. 4.5 or more allowed to three of Chicago's primary runners in their last contest. Getting great blocks, and this is just a fact, being special. Not giving up on a play, being able to get to the backside, then he shows the speed. And Idea of leaning on the ground game should also be on the mind of Washington's offense. Green Bay hasn't been stout against ball carriers either. They've given up 4.9 a run. Their defense gave up close to 180 ground yards to the Jets, gave up 5.8 a carry to rookie Brees Hall. Give it to him. Right side, good haul. Nice cut for Hall. He's down near the 25-yard line and a gain of nine. Washington's rush attack is by no means electric. They did welcome back Brian Robinson, only three and a half a carry, but he did score, and they still have Antonio Gibson. Robinson, and he will get into the end zone for a touchdown have the quickness to be able to get upfield pretty quickly by Antonio Gibson. A beautiful design. Passing attack. Can't really say it's up in the air because it hasn't been that really. Carson Wentz didn't have snot on his hand all night last week. He hurt his thumb. He's out. So, time to crack a can of Heineken. The way Wentz has played, I might too, right? Taylor Heineke gets his first shot to create a QB controversy. Doesn't have huge shoes to fill. The only thing Washington has been commanding at is the bottom when it comes to points per game and third down efficiency. Kind of anticipates that throw right at the sticks, gets his hand in there, and there's the follow through as he comes through Justin Jones. It's his hand. Pass protection, 23 sacks taken. Pressure percentage, over 30. We only mention that it's over 30 because that's when it's a problem. There's just not a threat of Wentz when he comes off the action and gets outside. You just don't feel that. Packers pass rush seems quite able to take advantage. Little over two sacks a game, pressure rate right near 30. Zach Wilson backs away from trouble, runs into trouble, and he's buried. 
based on Washington's passing attack trek so far, this is a chance for Green Bay secondary to keep working on their season numbers. They're not great right now, but the Cheesehead DBs weren't to blame for the Jets' loss. They only allowed 110 yards to Zach Wilson, rating under 75, 6.1 a throw. Wilson backed up, looking for some offense. It hits Garrett Wilson, but it's incomplete. Not a lot of separation from the herd after six weeks in the NFL. Which of the green teams gets off the even Steven line? Score predictions, analysis, all that other stuff. It goes in the comments section. We've got 10 scores. They go up on this screen.